Now this is going to be a several part review mainly about this particular box here running Core ELEC as a media player. So this is going to be my primary uh, device that I'll be doing reviews on but there'll be a multi-part review. But this one I'm going to be comparing that to uh, a media player running on a micro PC, mini PC and here's another mini PC, Borky. Uh, this one is a uh, Zidu X9X. Paid a lot of money for that and never used it. So I'll be comparing the media player running on that, media player running on that, and media playing on this Vita Shield that I don't use. So that's what I'm going to show you. This is going to be a multi-part video. And part one is comparing MB running on three different devices as I showed you earlier. Now this one it's running on my Android box which is running Core ELEC uh, which is a Kodi, a Linux based Kodi. And if you notice in the top right hand corner we've got the little icon in a circle. That means that this server is running on my mini computer the J45B link so that's where the server is running on so I'll show you what it looks like now again this is running on Kodi a version of Kodi which is called Core ELEC or Libre ELEC so uh, let's go here to uh, TV shows all Let's go down to it shows the cast. Now most of them show the cast, but for some reason some of them don't. But anyway, that's what it uh, looks like there. Now if I go over here and I can change it to poster. Okay, this is a poster. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And here's all the, uh, if you don't look down the bottom, MB for Cody, Processing Updates 8, uh, Dream of Genie, All Seasons, Season 1. Now again, this uh, running on Libre, it plays every video codec you can throw at it plus it'll play everything in uh, HD audio so if you've got Atmos surround it will play that through this so that's what I wanted to show you there now what I will do now I'll go back to the uh, NVIDIA Shield and show what show you what it looks like on the NVIDIA Shield Okay, now we're at the NVIDIA Shield, and we're still running the server on the J45 B-Link Micro PC. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, there's the TV guide. Okay, now let's go back up here to this one. Let's go over to Bewitched. Okay. That shows you the seasons. There's the cast and crew. More like this. Now, if we don't, if we want to do some uh, search there, it brings that up. So that gives you a lot of information there too. Obviously, there's nothing on Dick York. So it gives you a lot of information, not as much as the uh, Core LEC, the Kodi running on Kodi, but it's not bad. So that's what I want to show you there. 
Okay, let's go back to that Cody one. Now this one, we're going to take a look at the movies. We'll just pick that one. Okay, now that one gives you a lot of information. This is powered by the movie database, and it premiered 3-11-1983. The budget was $4 million, and the revenue was $7 million. So that's an older movie. And there again, there's all the cast. Charlie Bronson. There's all his movies he was in. He was in 97 movies and five TV shows. Now something strange here. It says the Go Go Boys for 2014, but he died in 2003. So uh, this one here, Once Upon a Time in the West, was uh, filmed in 2003 and he died in 2003. So anyway, that's some information about him. Uh, let's go to some other ones here. Let's pick a fairly newer one. If we can find a newer one. How about Apollo 18? Okay, there is a cast again. We're going to go to the database. Okay. And there again, now, it premiered in uh, July the 20th, 2011, had a $5 million budget and it grossed $25 million. So that's what I was going to show you there. So there's a little bit more information that's provided by here versus the uh, uh, the uh, Invita Shield. So, again, it gives you some more information. Ninety-nine movies and seventeen TV shows. He's age seventy-three and he's born in Rochester, New York. So, anyway, it gives you a lot of good information, whereas the other ones don't. So that's what I was going to show you there. Now this is the movie, The Equalizer, and if you notice, it's 1080p and a 464 encoded. Encoded. It's also a DTS HD. So let's uh, see what it looks like. Now there's the information. Drop, skipped. Now looking at my AVR, it shows DTS-HDMA. So I cannot play it very long because I get in trouble, but anyway, uh, it plays perfectly. And again, that is a 1080p. Same thing with 4K, plays perfectly. Uh, there's no transcoding, anything. So that's what I want to show you there. Now, the Dirty Dozen and the Back to the Future are both encoded with uh, VC1. And most of my devices will not play that. So if you notice the 1080p VC1, and there's all the cast. So let's start from the beginning. Again, I will show you. No drop, no script, skip frames. And there's the overlay. Again, my AVR shows DTS-HDMA. So it plays that perfectly. 
Okay, now we're going to test a 4K video. There's a cast for that one. So let's go over here to the yeah, skyscraper. That's a high bit rate 4K. So we're going to scoot our way over here somewhere. Oh, Sergeant York. That's an old one. Walter Brennan. Anyway, I get sidetracked. Okay, we're looking for the skyscraper. That's it right there. Okay. Now, if you look, it says it's a 4K HEVC 7.1 True HD. So, my EVR will show that it's a uh, HD audio. Okay, so let's see if we can play it. We're going to start from the beginning. Okay, no drop, no skip frames. Can't play it very long. So if you notice, it's a H.265 codec, and these boxes sub hundred, less than hundred bucks for this particular box. Uh, this one draws about 15 amps, or excuse me, watts. I think it's a 12 volt by one and a half amps, so that would be uh, 18 watts maximum. That, that box would draw. The uh, server is running on that micro PC and I think it's about a 24 watt. So the very uh, both of those devices are very low powered. But anyway, enough of that. So uh, very uh, no drops, frames, no skip frames or anything like that. So that's what I want to show you there. Oh, one thing I did want to show you that I forgot about Okay, now when I play it, it's going to go back to uh, 24 frames per second. So let's go ahead and play it again. And I'm going to press that. Yep, and it automatically switched to 24 frames per second. And all of these movies do. So it, everything is automatically switched to the appropriate frame rate. So that's what I want to show you. So these are very powerful little devices. Even though they're low cost, low power, they can do just about anything you care to do. Okay. Go back to some eye candy. There's all the cast. Dwayne Johnson. Okay, he's acted in 187 movies and 13 uh, TV shows. So apparently this one's coming out in 2020. Jogo Cruz, Jumanji, 2019. Okay, if you notice that little uh, uh, round uh, symbol for a hard drive in the top right hand, hand corner of the uh, thumbnail, uh, that shows that uh, I own that uh, device that it's stored on one of my NASAs or one of my external hard drives. So anyway, that's that's what it looks like. And here's the TV shows. Uh, here's the care, uh, pictures. So this one, this Cody or MB app running under Cody is far superior to what you get under uh, Android, so has a lot more functions, so and uh, runs on cheaper devices too. So that's what I'm going to show you there. Now I will show you what it looks like running on a PC. Now this one I'm using on my desktop because uh, I get a better picture quality than uh, put it on the TV. So anyway, this is what it looks like. And there is the J45, that's its server. Uh, TV shows. Uh, we were specifically looking, looking at Bewitched. There's all the information, the cast. Gives you a lot of information there.
episodes. Okay, let's go to movies. Let's pick the skyscraper. That's the one we had. There it is. Now again, it will play on my TV using that micro PC. It will play uh, 30 frames per second, but not 60. So anyway, uh, it plays pretty good with the HD audio also. But I can't show you that because I'm using my computer on my desktop. But what I want to show you is the eye candy and stuff that it uses. So it's very similar, very similar to what you get using the a Cody, Cody version. So, I guess that's what I wanted to show you. Shows you all the cast. But it doesn't, doesn't give you all the detail that the other one does. Let's see what this does. All right, that's what I wanted to show you.